so this is uh, Som uh, Som Prakash and uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, two of the wealth creation strategies. Um, I hope you already know about wealth and what is the difference between wealth and income which I didn't know before. So let me just tell you briefly about uh, the difference between wealth and income. So income is when you generate uh, the, you are trading hours for money that is the income what you generate. So the wealth is uh, created, the uh, e wealth is what the income what you create out of your assets. Okay, so that means in nutshell wealth is something which gives you the ongoing income. However, the income as such is something which, uh, you know, when you stop working, if it stops, that's sheer uh, income. It's just, that is no wealth being created. Then we'll talk about how do you create um, assets? So what is an asset? So for a lot of us, physical asset, we can say that, you know, buildings and uh, real estate is an asset or, uh, you know, and machineries and all those things are assets. Well, those are physical things uh, or tangible things. However, you know, um, if you have a business, okay, which is uh, generating um, income, um, that's also a big asset, you know, for, for, for you. So let's talk about how do you create uh, two um, sort of very successful wealth creation strategies, which gives you uh, gives you an ongoing income, okay? So I will be sharing um, with you those two strategies um, today is uh, one is property, another is a network marketing, property business and network marketing business, okay? So we'll talk this, the similarities between these two businesses, okay? Now let's talk about property business and or network marketing business, both of them, they generate an ongoing income okay on the efforts what you put uh, you know for a certain duration of time that they keep generating that uh, ongoing income that means you don't have to keep working for it for example rental income so once you buy your house or you have your own house you rent it out you don't have to uh, work for the rent and then uh, you know that's that's a you know you have developed an asset which is the house or the real estate is an asset for you and that income is the rental income that's an ongoing income for you okay now in the similar way network marketing business so if you uh, start a network marketing business if you build a community build a network and a volume um, you know is uh, going through your business uh, then you know the profit what you generate the out of your network or retail profit what you make out of your selling so that's uh, your ongoing income okay so that means even if uh, you know your retail profit if you do not sell anything is uh, even if that stops still you make money out of your network what you build after a period of time because uh, you know it's not uh, only your uh, sales or your business volume which is uh, you are rewarded for it's your team or your group volume as well you are rewarded for okay second thing about organic growth which is quite crucial in any sort of a wealth creation strategies or property and network marketing similarly so the property property value appreciate they say in every 10 years probably it doubles okay on an average um, so that means um, when the property prices go up then uh, you know that's that's a uh, appreciation or your capital grows or your investment grows and uh, you can either uh, take the money out of or the equity out of that house by remortgaging or you know um, based on your revised value and um, that's the organic growth we get out of uh, property investment similarly network marketing what i have seen is that also grows substantially huge after some period of time even if you are not uh, um, involved okay directly with the business so after some time once you build an organization so it has an organic growth it starts growing your your network grows for example just take the example of uh, world's biggest network like uh, you know facebook okay 
So now in the initial days, if you remember, if you have, uh, a, when you have uh, your first account, you, you have got an invitation from someone saying that, okay, so and so, your, um, one of your friends wants to invite you to join Facebook. As soon as you click on yes, then you um, got in, you created your own Facebook profile. And what happened, the second screen it says is, do you want to invite your friends? Okay, so Facebook, what it did was it uh, got hold of your contact list from, you know, um, Google or, yahoo or whatever your even account is and then it the, it sends uh email to them saying that hey your friend so and so wants you um to invite you to join facebook do you want to join so that's how the uh, you know the network grow grows or the facebook network uh, grew and that's uh, you know uh, world's biggest network now so exactly same way the network marketing business also grows so that means after a period of time it just the growth is a compounding growth that means it's a geometric progression growth rather than an arithmetic progression growth that means it grows in multiples okay and um, uh, albert einstein you know said that a compound interest you know is i think he says that it's eighth wonder of the world so that means compounding effect or compound interest he was talking about that that means uh, you know that's, that's amazing you know how um, you know once it triggers it becomes huge okay so that's the sort of beauty of network marketing as well you initially work in this business and eventually it grows and your income goes substantially big and you don't have to be uh, you know working actively in this business as well okay now product demand that's a very important point as well so a uh, property okay is uh, so in a property business if you're in a property business what product you are selling okay you are uh, the product what you are selling is the accommodation okay so and uh, you know uh, as long as the world population or every year after year the world population grows so that means there will always be need for accommodations for you know uh, the people okay and that's the reason why uh, there will always be demand that means this industry is um always bound to grow so it, do, it doesn't get impacted by um recession or uh, you know um you know uh, technological changes and all those things it just doesn't impact them okay so property industry that's why uh, is is quite robust that means uh, you know um companies may come and go businesses may uh, disappear from high street um, you know like you have seen um, big companies as well filing bankruptcy like General Motors or um, Northern Rock or um, Lehman Brothers, uh, Toys R Us. So, so many companies have filed bankruptcy and uh, still, uh, you know, so people, companies are going, going uh, under. But property, the accommodation, property accommodation or, you know, the, the industry uh, which, uh, you know, as a property entrepreneur you are catering to, it will always be there exactly same way network marketing again not all the network marketing uh, businesses that means there are few network marketing opportunities may be there which uh, the products may not be you know um, the products which are recession proof or uh, you know uh, doesn't get impacted by the uh, technological changes in this world okay um, what kind of industry then uh, you know you should be looking at you know this is recession proof and uh, you know uh, it doesn't get impacted by by changes of the socio-economic condition then it will be fmcg fast moving consumable goods that means as the world population grows people's demand for uh, daily usage products will always be there okay so that means uh, daily uses products. i'm talking about daily uses products not the products which um, you know you buy uh, as as luxury or when um, uh, every few years, you know, you buy those property like a like a car, or like a diamond ring, or so, you know, those kind of things. However, if you use um, you know soap every day, that means FMCG will always be there. So the demand for FMCG will be there. Um, so it doesn't get impacted, or the FMCG industry will not uh, impacted as much as uh, you know uh, the impact to technological industry. Um, you know, which is impacted by technology, for example, Apple, maybe a trillion dollar company now, after two decades, we don't know. Even uh, Warren Buffett also says the same thing. He always invests in those companies which he understand their business of, okay?
mm. and he always um, you know, very careful about uh, investing in technological companies uh, because he sees that uh, he would not know whether that uh, you know company will survive after 10 15 years or 50 years even so succession planning that's a very important thing so when you're talking about wealth you're talking about uh, you know for generations okay so the income uh, is ongoing and uh, so you are securing an income for a few generations um, after you so now property does give us that ability to pass it on to the next generation again that requires some sort of a planning tax planning that means you have to buy the property or you need to have that investment or real estate in, in trust um, or in a company's name exactly the same way network marketing businesses okay as long as it's in your company name then it can be passed on to the next generation um, your sort of uh, you know next generation uh, can join as um, and as beneficiary or as as, as directors uh, once they are at, at a certain age and um, they can take care of the business as well so that means they can take over your business so, so that means the business um, as any other company um, is um, having a perpetual existence so it will keep on um, you know going so these are some of the sort of similarities of uh, these uh, two uh, businesses property business and network marketing business i hope uh, you know um, i made some sense to you but i will always definitely welcome your comments what do you think about uh, you know um, these uh, two strategies and uh, you know, what's your thought about it or have you identified any other businesses which um, you know um, gives you the um, ability to create wealth okay so let me know and with that we are over and